Hi guys, Mr. Hind here again. Welcome back to my Classics channel. In this episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Theatre of Dionysus, located inside a very small sanctuary to Dionysus, right in the southwest slope of the Athenian Necropolis. I'm going to start this video off by talking a little bit about theatre in Athens and the city Dionysia, and then after that we'll look at the structure itself in more detail. So acting and drama was a favourite pastime of the Athenians, with dramatic performances dating back to the act of Thespis in the mid-6th century BC. We know that before this theatre was in place, theatrical performances dedicated to Dionysus would take place in the Athenian Agora, the marketplace. The Athenians regularly honoured Dionysus, the god of drama, in a yearly five-day dramatic festival known as the City Dionysia. Now the festival seems to have started in the 6th century BC, when the Athenians made an alliance with a town bordering northern Attica called Eleutheri. As a sign of goodwill, the people of Eleutheri offered the Athenians a simple wooden statue of Dionysus which the Athenians seem to have rejected. Following this, the Athenians seem to have suffered some sort of a plague affecting the male genitals. Linking the two events together, the Athenians realised that they had angered the god, and thus let him into the city, building a sanctuary to him and honouring him in a yearly festival of drama and revelry. So every year, the city Dionysia would start off with a pomp, or a grand procession, in which a statue of Dionysus was wheeled into the theatre on a wooden boat. I believe it's the same boat shown here, which the game attributes to also being used in the Great Panathenae. After the pomp, there was something known as a Dithram contest, where members of local deems would take place in an amateur choral dance to Dionysus. Following this, there'd then be an evening of revelry, before the plays would start the next day. So subsequently, on day two, we saw five comedic plays. And then on days three to five, there were three tragedies and a satyr play with the judging also taking place on the last day. Famous playwrights such as the tragedians Aeschylus, Sophocles and Euripides, and comedians such as Aristophanes all competed to win in their genre of play. So now we're inside the Sanctuary of Dionysus, and the theatre itself is just over there. Although this is a small sanctuary, it contains typical features of any other Greek sanctuary, such as a temple dedicated to Dionysus over there, and an altar here. The whole thing is also surrounded by a short wall. The sanctuary shows the communal importance of the altar as it sat right in the centre of this large open space. The theatre itself was constructed at some point in the mid-6th century BC, when performances were moved from wooden bleachers in the Agora to now a dedicated spot in a newly built sanctuary to Dionysus. Originally this structure was made out of wood, as the game demonstrates here, but later it is rebuilt from marble. The theatre itself could sit about 17,000 people. And this tiered seating, known as the Theatron, was built into the natural slope of the Acropolis. Like most Greek theatres, it was built in this typical horseshoe shape, and this would optimise the acoustics. There are also clear divisions between the rows to allow easy access from back to front. The seating was of course segregated by class, with religious officials and politicians getting the best seats at the front, and although this is quite debated, it seems likely that women weren't allowed to attend. From the seating we looked down to this flat area before the stage, known as an orchestra. It was here a group known as a chorus, differing in size anywhere from about 15 to 12 singers and dancers, would perform choral odes in Greek plays. This group, although integral to the plot of the performance, were not allowed to act on the stage, and stuck to this strict convention throughout the performance. The game depicts an altar here, and tripods over there, and although it's possible that this area was decorated for performances, I think it's unlikely that props such as these would occupy this space. Behind the orchestra we then have the stage, known as the proskenion, and a backdrop known as a skene. Later on the skene became far more developed. It was made out of marble, it was two storeys, and it showed the facade of a structure such as a palace. However, here, as we're early on in the 6th century BC, this is a simple structure made out of wood, and here I believe it's depicting some sort of forest or woodland scene. Most acting did, however, take place outside, the insides of buildings were never really depicted. The skene, especially later on in Greek theatre, was very practical. The entrances to the building depicted were used as a means for the actors to get on and off the stage. Additionally, the props were stored inside the skene. There must also have been a ladder inside the skene, as actors were able to perform from the roof. Such performances were also enhanced with the use of machinery and props, such as mechane, or commonly known in Latin as a deus ex machina, which was a sort of crane that would hoist actors into the air to perform roles such as gods. There's also something known as an echiclema, which is often referred to as a trolley, um, which would revolve in the doorway, it would turn inside to show things such as uh, dead bodies. 
Now, typically, three actors would perform on stage. This is a conventional number, and plays were written to only ever show three actors on stage at one time. If there was need for further characters, actors would play more than one role, changing their masks or costumes accordingly. The final feature that I suppose that we should mention here is just the paradox here, and this is the way that the audience would filter into the theatre itself, climb the stairs, and then take their seats. So that concludes our tour of the Theatre of Dionysus. Thank you very much for checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.